Iceland has a long history uh, with storytelling. Uh, it's the land of the sagas that many people have heard of, which were written between the 12th and 14th centuries, and there was always a great emphasis placed on being literate and learning how to read and write, and people are very proud of that literary heritage that continues today. And even now, books are the most popular Christmas presents to give. The sagas are stories of conflict and woe and romance and, and the, the great human struggle. Even in those early days, centuries ago, the written word was very important in the country. Unlike in continental Europe, where people were building beautiful churches and other structures or creating great sculptures or painting. In Iceland, where people were eking out an existence in a, in a turf hut in the dark in the winter, they didn't have great architecture traditions or a great musical tradition, but they did have the written word. Priests in the day would not confirm people unless they had already learned how to read and write. And that obviously had a great impact as well on, on educating people for that. It was a great respect for the written word for people who have writing as an occupation and there's a unique nature that is inspirational for anybody visiting. There's northern lights and volcanoes and glaciers and waterfalls. It's wonderful.